Welcome back guys. So another adventure in the kitchen today. We have got this vegetable chow mein. Now honestly, I prefer like more of a pork or chicken, but this was an amazing little find I found at Sam's Club. And so total between all three of these boxes, a little over 10 pounds. Uh, these are three pounds, six ounce boxes. So I mean, two ounces over 10 pounds. Threw a couple extra bags in here just because why not make it bigger? Now, these might be a little puffed out just because of the fact that there is some air in it, but I've got like this big bowl here. I've got a bunch of them here on the counter. Got a couple back here. Uh, probably about 12 pounds of chow mein. So, I love chow mein. Heck yeah, who doesn't love going to the, <laughs> the Chinese buffet and getting all you can eat? Well, I don't know, really know if this is all I can eat, but it's a lot. So, 12 pounds of chow mein and I'm hungry. Um, these are microwavable packages, so pretty convenient, um, which is why I did that way, that kept them soft and whatever, kept them warm while I could do it all at once. Cooking in bulk is not easy, so, and honestly, sometimes if you aren't watching what you do, you might make it crunchy or burn it or throw it on fire. I'm not gonna admit to any of those. Yes, I've done all of those. But anyway, this made it really easy, so I kind of was able to hold it at a warm temperature. So I'm going to open these up and kind of see what I got for room in this bowl, because I might need to grab another one. But I've got some water back here, I've got my chow mein, and I will see you in a few with my own little personal Chinese buffet. <laughs> fabulous bowls. I don't know why I felt like I could uh, fit this into one bowl. Didn't really work out. I don't know why I would have even thought that. But either which way, I have two huge bowls of chow mein. A little over 12 pounds. Um, I did eat a little piece or two out of here. It is not really seasoned. Made of noodles and there's like no soy or salt or anything. Like that. And now, yes, I'm a salt addict. You can go ahead and make fun of me if you really want to. I don't care, but yes, I'm gonna be adding quite a bit of soy sauce and salt to this because that's what I like. That's what counts. Merry Christmas. So, let's get to it. I don't know how long this is gonna take because these are actually very dry and sticky. And <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens. So let's just do this. Three, two, one, 12 pounds of chow mein for sister. This is like, I mean really, this is like gallons of, like almost two gallons of food. Mm. That was very sticky. Pretty good without it, it's just really Wow, my dry mouth is already, you know where you get like that dry back your mouth. Oof. Dang, this is gonna be a hard challenge actually. I thought it was gonna be easy. No. Shout out to Mr. Kennedy, who told me to get more of this than I should have. Unless I put like a sauce on this noodle, it is it's so dry and sticky.
The box says it says 10 vegetables. I'm not seeing 10. Like six. What is your favorite go-to Chinese food? Or Asian food? Or Japanese food? Hmm. I do like egg rolls. I do like wontons, dumplings. Pepper chicken is delicious. Wow. I don't know when this will actually air, but I hope you all have a Merry Christmas too. By the way, if you can't see that, I still have a Christmas tree up. It is the 21st. Hope you all get everything you want, and it's merry and bright. I would just like a cat. So if anyone would like to send me a cat, <laughs> Sticky pickles. <laughs> Big old clumps. It's a little hard to get down just because of the stickiness of the noodle, but otherwise it's very delicious.
excuse me. Well, well over halfway done here. Still quite a bit, as you can see by the tool. Knitting or done. Not too much left. Just a little bit. Let's see if we can get this done. All right, 1808. Like I said, this probably could have been done a little bit faster. Obviously, we know it could have been done faster. Um, biggest thing, I think, was the fact that uh, the uh, noodles did not really, not, I mean, it says on here, they have a sauce. But really, it's they were. I mean, you can see they kind of stuck together. They're a little dry. Um, did not affect the flavor. Was actually really good. I expected to do dump a lot of salt on there, or a, you know, a lot more of this than I actually did. Uh, this was not a new container, by the way. Um, I mean, really, it was good. It wasn't bad at all. Uh, would definitely buy again. Um, for some reason, something, like I said, if you've ever noticed, like, some things with mass, like I said, there's a lot more mass where some things, like, they dry, these drier noodles kind of puff up, so it's kind of like, well, eh. Um, quite a bit of food for the 12 pounds, but, you know, kind of is what it is. We'll make it work, right? That's how we do it here. So, not bad. Overall, yes, I would buy these again. Um, if you ever want to do some chow mein, I would head on down to the... Sam's Club and buy a box of this and he said they come in little packages so make one serving or go to the buffet and invite me so I'll pay for it. <laughs> like and subscribe and if you have anything you'd like to see let me know and uh, hope you have a good holiday so like I said I don't know when I'm going to post this but either which way Christmas tree. Sniff for president 24. Catch you later.